Um, I'm hoping to do some erotica. So that's like uh, pictures and videos for private customers or for um, the public if, you know, that ever arises. I'm also hoping to uh, get my dancing license here pretty soon so that I'm able to um, do what I love most in my spare time and also make money from it, which is um, dancing essentially. I got really tired of not being able to capitalize on my body. Frankly, I got really tired of um, being told to hate my body. And I also just got tired of, um, you know, working day to day in a way that wasn't satisfying my soul. And um, I feel like, honestly, like doing this kind of work, um, I'm able to, quote unquote, satisfy other people. But that feels good because um, it's not in a way that feels violative. I actually think that once they see how far I've come from the bottom I was at a year and a half ago, they're going to look at this and go, wow, we actually raised a really self-assured young lady. Um, and we've raised someone who knows exactly what they want in life and who basically doesn't let people push her around. And I think they will be supportive, you know, possibly even with some security measures in place um, once they know that I'm doing this out of like this gentle, genuine um, desire to not, you know, survive, but thrive as well. I was really out of control from about the ages of um, 11 years old, even to up, up to like two years ago. So when I was like 21, I used to drink every day and that went on for like two years until I like almost died a couple of times. And part of that, I feel like was a deeper need to um, be independent financially. And the anxieties that um, my body has caused for me were kind of like taking over my life. The PTSD I have, which is diagnosable, um, was like, engulfing everything around me, my relationships. And like, I still face lasting damage because of the hurt and harm I've done to other people because of my own survival mechanisms. From outside my family and not from anybody of notable presence, just from, you know, scumbag monsters who were looking at my vulnerability going, that's the one. I suffered a lot of grooming. I feel like the abuse I went through wasn't super intense, but it still had long lasting impact because it had me questioning like, what is my body? What is it to have a body and exist in a body safely? Also, what is it to be, you know, an emotional human being and not have it taken advantage of? It's not their fault. It absolutely is not their fault. They couldn't have known that that establishment, I'm not gonna name it for legal reasons, but. I came out of there worse than I was going in with more anxiety and more attachment issues and more depression and more hatred for my body. I actually developed an eating disorder while I was there and an exercise addiction while I was there. But I had a therapist who was Mormon and he literally told me um, masturbation makes you a selfish person and that it makes you um, unable to love and care for other people and if you do it too much you become a sociopath. It was horrible. They would like check our closets for underwear that they thought was like too much. Which is like, again, with teenage girls living in the house, you don't do that to them. That's a violation of their privacy. They like would read our diaries and like, we would have these shame groups where like we would attack each other. We were encouraged to like pit, you know, not physically, but like emotionally. We had these things where it was like accountability groups, but we were encouraged to um, basically beat each other down emotionally so we could like confess. People will be resentful about this. Uh, people will be angry because it's like almost like I'm taking a piece of their security away by being independent like this. Um, that's a normal reaction though, so I can't hold it against people. I have no right to look at a person who's angry at this and say, that's an invalid emotion, that you are uncomfortable. Thank you.